bounce your Seraphine ultimate off of. Oh, but if we're talking about Seraphine ultimate, Silas drafted here for Team Liquid. Torrin backs up, eats some honey fruit here in the river. The Drake will not even be warded by the side of TSM. They don't see how low Santorin is. The cannon there as well. Santorin's still here. Speak is coming up now. They're looking for the full on 2v2. Perhaps Alfari trying to survive, but it's TSM who's got the bodies there faster. Santorin's too far away. And Spika picks up. Cinematic turns you take that. He Whoa, oh, okay. Oh, we got to fight. Never mind. We can't even talk about it. Hootie's grabbing the kill on Alfari with the onslaught of shadows coming in now as well. But Speak is killed off by Santorum and TSM's having to run away. Hootie's ignited. Hootie's gone. You got Sword Art running into the enemy jungle to stay alive. But boy, you are behind enemy lines. This is not going to be a saving Private Ryan type of story this time around. Looks like he may just execute to the turret here. That's about his only option. Walking up there, and there he goes. Turret takes out Sword Art, so at least no extra You have to respect it. The Dragon taking Santorin to 60% HP, but Spear lands and evens it up with Spika's health. Core JJ with a flash engage over the wall, coming in for a little bit more, but Lost is able to stay alive. Core JJ stuck here with the very front line. It's TSM winning out in the fight for now, but Speak is going to be taken down next. Everybody's dying back and forth, but it's TSM popping off. It's a double kill over to Lost, but the boy's going to be finished off. Jensen's coming right back in. This is what I was talking about. Your mid laner does no damage, and Jensen. A menace with this Silas. The ult coming up very quickly as well, so he can steal off. Liquid is deciding to respond in force themselves. Alfari coming over the wall here with a world ender. Core JJ's there. He's not afraid to throw himself into the fray. Follow up coming in from Jensen, but Core JJ is the only one dead here so far. Alfari looking for a little bit more as Hooney's about to die. Jensen misses everything, and that's enough for TSM to take the fight. It's a double kill for Spika and a two for zero overall. Jensen's going right back in, goes in the ramp. So yeah, they'll all back away. Nicely done from TSM. And they expend the Grievous Wounds that they do have, the Ignite from Hooney. So before POE can, can bridge the gap there, before he gets that Chemtech Purifier, that's a worth Ignite. Hooney ignites, they chunk down Jensen, he can't heal back up, and so Gold that earth. are used in mid lane. Once you get that mid lane tower down, you can flex either your mid lane pushes after the minion wave is pushed into and top. Lost just destroys this thing for free. So that's some extra money there. You can see the turret falls over. Hooney's even there to help. And they'll keep any longer. They need him here at the onset of the fight. Jensen has already stolen away the Onslaught of Shadows. He's ready to go in with that if need be. Dragon aggroed by TSM down to 4K. Taking it even lower. Committing in here for what could be a 50-50. Speak of CC, but it's Alfari who's down below half. A lot of damage coming out. Alfari's going to be taken down. The Dragon's collected by Santorum, but Team Liquid now going to win the fight if they're looking to get out alive. TSM has better health bars. TSM has control over the area, and Team Liquid is falling back into enemy territory. Jensen's waiting in the brush, just daring them to come after, daring them to face check into these brushes. Team Liquid has to play this so well if they want to get away from this, but it looks like TSM's just going to give it up. They don't want to pursue into this. They don't want to risk overextending into the powerful damage potential of these three Team Liquid players. But now that Team Liquid tries to make their exit, it's TSM coming around from the side. Team Liquid engaging on the split forces of TSM. Shut down on the tactical. More coming in. TSM's about to get a gift wrap present, baby. Jensen flashes over the wall, stays alive. But you can't say the same for Santorin. Shot barrage. And Ooh. nope, not going to happen. Valiant effort. Yep. TSM take him out first. And after he's down, the main threat is there. They could just 4v2 the rest of the fight with Power of Evil, healing them right back up. So much value. You talked about the power curve of the cheap support items on Seraphine. Yeah. This is our comfort zone. Just providing AoE giant heals, AoE CC, and Grievous Wounds for the entire team. Uh, it is just the, the most valuable point in the game. And so they, it's very important that they snowball off of this. Uh, their grouping is incredibly strong, and they just power forward. Oh, charm on the two. Nicely done. Tactical's already out of the fight. Sword Art takes some damage, but Core JJ will burn away. Two kills over to TSM. They have lost no one. Sword Art's still alive. Alfari's going to be jumped on next. TSM are going straight for the jugular. Santorin is alive, but Jensen will not be for much longer. The damage comes through. The shutdown comes out. Santorin's going home in a body bag. And TSM are giving us a series, ladies and gentlemen. The Bud Light Ace will turn into the game-ending push. Yeah, their work's not done, but it's going to be easy, Captain Flowers. Multiple choice. 
do you want to kill the Nexus turrets or the Nexus or all of the above? It's going to be all of the above, and we are going to a game four here for TSM. Comeback is in the works. The first stone has been laid. And major.